So, you want to know how to set up the Equinox 800 to hunt for coins? Let's find out how. Welcome back to another how-to episode on the Equinox 800 from Relic Hunters Wales. Just finished a nice hunt and um, before the sun goes down, I thought I'd do a quick how-to guide on the best way that I find to set this machine up to find coins. Now, if you ask Mine Lab, they'll tell you that um, the settings that's preset on there are the best and altering them isn't going to make any difference. However, you will find obviously different locations, different fields, different beaches, etc. Little minor adjustments <coughs> on the internal settings make a massive, massive difference. Um, so what I'm going to do is going to run through what I do as soon as I turn the machine on and I've very successfully found coins every single hunt. Um, before playing about, even on the factory presets, you know, found coins not a problem, you were finding, you know, all the coins were sort of four or five inches deep, wasn't getting any really big targets. Now, after having a little play around, altering a few settings, this thing, pff, we had silver, you can check out the last video, um, 10, 11 inches in the ground, not a problem. It was on his side as well, so not an issue. But um, let's have a look and uh, we'll show you how I set this up. Okay, so let's have a look at these settings. This is what I personally use on a day out. Um, like I say before, if you were to talk to Mine Lab, they will say that the default settings are the best. However, I do find that tweaking it yourself will help the machine go a lot deeper. I see a lot of complaints online thinking uh, people are saying that it doesn't go deep. Trust me, it does. Look at a couple of our previous videos. Uh, you'll see me on the silver coins, 10, 11 inches deep. Um, and they're up on their side, easily found. So, um, yeah, let's run through the settings of what I use to find coins on every single outing, okay? Now, let's switch the machine off. Shoot. There you go. Right, now as soon as you switch the machine on, wait for it to load up. Right, now the very first thing you want to do is a noise cancel, okay? Now, don't be scared to have your friend stood right next to you with his machine because that'll be better. Uh, both, both through noise cancel, one at a time. What you'll find then, like myself and Chris, for example, when we're out hunting, uh, we can be within an inch or two of each other and it is not a problem at all. We don't interfere whatsoever. So, right, let's show you how to do first the noise cancel. You're going to go here, yeah, press the settings button, straight on the noise cancel, okay? Press accept button here. Let it do its thing. Now, before you noise cancel, make sure you use the pinpoint button and find a nice clear ground. Right, that's going into a minus five, so it must be something there. Right, let's go back in. Do that again. a bit better. So once you've done noise cancellation, press the accept button, which is that button there, okay? Never press the setting button again. Always press this after you've done something. Now after you've done noise cancellation, the next thing you're going to want to do is a ground balance. And this is how you do that. If you go here, press the settings button, go to ground balance, you see it's flashing there. Now next what you're going to do is press this button, which is the accept button, hold it down and bob. And as you do that, you can see I'm on something very metal here. Probably not the best example. <laughs> let's go across by it a bit. Right. Right, let's try that again. See, it's starting to go back up now. <clears throat> this is why you use a pinpoint at the start to just get a nice bit of clear ground. And that's going to settle on about 24 because of the ground is on, okay? Now, once you've done that, again, press the accept button. Now, if you're going to keep it in the default settings that Mine Lab give you on the fields options, so just to let you know, we are setting this up in field two at the minute, okay? This is what I find best to find your small silvers, which ring in at around 17 on the figures. Um, as you can tell, all the irons have been taken out, so any number, any noise, dig away. Um, if you're thinking, ooh, is it iron? Press the horseshoe, bring iron back on, okay? Uh, do another swing and it'll tell you clean as day if it is iron or not. Um, so yeah, if you're going to use the default settings, away you go. Um, all you need to do throughout the day is ground balance every so often if you go from field to field or if the ground is different. 
Now, what I do, however, I do change recovery speed and I have altered my threshold, okay? Now, I'll show you what my threshold is set at and how to alter that. I'll also show you how to do the settings. Ah, sorry, the settings. It's late in the evening. Uh, the sensitivity. Now, if you were to leave the sensitivity <coughs> right up on... Oh, on 25, uh, for example, now, you're going to get a lot of chirping, right? A lot of noise back on, and a lot of feedback. I find it runs best around 20 to 21. On the beach, you do need to reduce it a little bit more. Uh, but in majority of fields, you're looking around a 20. Um, it runs quiet as a mouse. Beautiful machine. Extremely light, as I do like to tell you. Um, but yeah, let's show you how to do alter the recovery speed and the threshold. So what you do here again, settings. So you're going to move it right across, okay? So on recovery speed now. So the recovery speed is currently set at 7. Um, 8 being the highest. Now... <clears throat> Basically, a quick overview, if you want, on recovery speed, how it works. The lower the recovery speed, the deeper the machine will actually find something. However, if there's a lot of trash, a lot of iron, it's going to make a lot of noise, give you loads of false signals, and it'll be a nightmare. Um, so if you're in a really trashy area, you want your recovery speed set at quite high. You're still going to get your depth. You're still going to get down below five, six inches, so don't worry. Um, but you might miss out on the really, really deep targets. <clears throat> but if the field is quiet, simply press the minus button here. And I find if you drop it between three or four, that works best. Now, once you've chosen your recovery speed, you know, up and down, press it up to go up, down to go down. Don't press the settings button again. Press the detect button. Just like that, okay? Ready to go. Again, if you go to a different field and you find it trashy, press settings, straight on there again, alter it back up, press detect, and away you go, all right? Now threshold, I set mine to one. So if we go across here, it's on the first menu. Now these have, this machine has sub-menus, which we will cover on a different uh, video. But for example, now we're on threshold, if I was to hold down the settings button, it goes into another setting. But like I said, we will cover this on another video, all right? So. Just go into the threshold. He's currently on. Oh, taking back out the advanced settings, back to normal. Just hold it back down if you're in that set sub menu, okay? So you can see my threshold is set on one. If you want to alter it again, like I say, just press up and press down. All right. I find one works best uh, to get the deep targets nice and clear. <clears throat> when you're ready to go again press detect. Now, that really is what you need to do to this machine on field 2 option, like I said there. Um, I set it like this, I go out, I find coins every single time, and they're not on the surface, they're a good depth. Um, like I previously said on our last video, a silver three pence, tiny little thing, stood up on its side, like this, uh, about 11 inches down, and yeah, you know, you just couldn't, couldn't fault it. Um, so yeah, that's the basic settings really. Uh, it can be quite daunting when you first get the machine because you know there is quite a lot of sub menus and the instructions aren't huge. Um, but like I have said in a lot of the Facebook forums and whatnot, we are in direct contact with MindLab um, quite regular. And if there is anything you're stuck with, any questions, any technical things, let us know. We'll ask them back there and we'll have an answer back to you within a day or two, all right? If there's anything else you want us to show, obviously we are going to do this once a week. I say we, I'm here on my own today, so <laughs> it's quite late, see? Um, but yeah, I am going to do this once a week, a how-to, in amongst all other videos. So if there's a guide you want to know, uh, you know, what do you need to know? Drop a comment below and I will do a video on there. Anything we can do to help, that's what we're here for. Um, we're going to be at Detectable. Uh, we will be on um, Detectnik stand at some point through the day. Come along, you know, say hello, bring your machine. We'll show you the best setups um, in the area and what we're using at the day. If you haven't got a machine, come along and order one. Um, they're a brilliant bit of kit. I know there's a lot of negativity, um, a lot of positivity, mind, but there is a bit of negativity about a few little things. Oh, trust me, it's not as bad as people make out. This machine is fantastic. Um, it's sucking up silver, sucking up the coins. It's extremely light. Um, yeah, we all know it's got a little wobble on the cam lock, but for me, honestly, it's not a problem. Um, this machine doesn't do it. I don't think everyone, um, all the machines do. You do get the odd one. 
I've spoken to Mine Lab <coughs> in depth about it a few days ago. Um, asked them if they're going to be bringing out an aftermarket cam lock for it, and they will be at some point. However, they're still behind on deliveries, as you know. You know, some people are waiting six, seven, eight weeks, if not more. Um, luckily, uh, Detechnix has. Uh, their, their waiting time has come down to about four weeks at the minute so if you haven't on the waiting list get on there it's free it doesn't cost anything they don't want any money up front and um, they have said once they catch up with demand they will then have a look at the cam lock and see about an aftermarket uh, supply or something that they can do with it but if it is a major issue obviously you've got a warranty so give them a call their customer service is absolutely fantastic and I've always been Garrett and you know you've seen all the other videos Garrett 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 I bang on about Garrett constantly um, but this machine I, you know I can't really find any negativity about it so far you know give me a month or two I might be saying other things but at the minute this machine is fantastic all right uh, like I said if you're not a subscriber please subscribe give us a thumbs up if you've enjoyed the video and any questions Put in your comments below. Um, check out the links below as well for the descriptions of where you can purchase this, where you can order it from today, um, and have it delivered literally within a couple of weeks. All right, no money up front. Um, also in the description, will be a link to our Facebook channel and some other items. And don't forget, we have got another free giveaway coming up shortly, so keep a lookout for that. It's going to be in the next few weeks. But yeah, thanks for watching. We shall see you at the next dig. Yeah.